I'm Ryan Kelly. I'm Lindsay Kelly. Happy Valentine's Day and welcome to another episode of Cooking with the Kellys. Episode 3. I love these brownies. <laughs> the month of February is known for Valentine's Day, but today we're going to talk about something else. Yeah. So February is also known for American Heart Month. Heart disease is not discriminated against age or gender, which is kind of a misconception that men typically have heart disease, but women are just as prevalent. With that said, today we have a fun twist on brownies. Instead of the traditional flour-based brownies, we're going to mix it up with a secret ingredient, which is... Black beans. Black beans. Black beans give it an extra fiber component which is something good you want to incorporate into your healthy diet. It's great for your heart and your digestive tract and many other things good for the soul. Today we're going to be cooking in this 2018 Tiffin Allegro bus. This is the 45 OPP floor plan and one of my favorite features about this kitchen is the giant pantry on both sides of the refrigerator. They open up giving you tons and tons of space. As always with cooking with the Kellys, we're going to be using RV amenities like this convection microwave oven, and this particular coach has a giant double sink. Today we're gonna to be using our food processor. A blender also works, but what I love about this dish is it all goes into the food processor, you whip it up, and then you put it in your pan, which means a lot less dishes for cleaning. If you're watching your blood pressure, paying attention to much sodium in your diet is important. When you're shopping for beans or anything in a can, you always wanna to try to get reduced sodium or low sodium. That'll help cut back on some of that salt, but another easy way to take more salt out of your diet is by rinsing your beans. Go ahead. Now we're going to put our rinsed beans into the food processor. Another great way to help lower your blood pressure on Valentine's Day is to remember a gift. And chocolates. Chocolates. It's always a good gift. Stick with the fundamentals. Next, we're going to add two tablespoons cocoa powder. Half cup old fashioned oats. Rolled cut oats are also a really good source of fiber and you can see you have the whole grain in there. A pinch of salt, one third cup pure maple syrup. Maple syrup is where we're gonna get the sweetness from in our brownies. One fourth cup coconut oil. You could substitute vegetable oil if you don't like coconut oil. One tablespoon sugar just for that little extra sweetness. Two teaspoons vanilla, half a teaspoon baking powder, and here comes the delicious part. I'm here. Oh, good. <laughs> All right, we do a half cup chocolate chips. You can do milk chocolate, dark chocolate, whatever your heart desires. There we go. Yum. Dump that in. Okay, and I'm just gonna give a little yeah, why not? Just a couple extra. Extra sprinkle. That's all the ingredients. What do you say we heat things up a little bit? And preheat the oven to 350 degrees. You press preheat, 350, and start. What were you thinking? Just pop on the lid and hit pulse. And the goal is to mix it up until it's smooth. Okay, stop. Looks delicious. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try this with a little bit of this. Mmm. That's delicious. Now we're just gonna spray our pan. And the trick is to get this evenly spread in the pan. So I like to just kind of dump it all in first. Now we smooth it over. Now that the oven is preheated, we're gonna pop this in. Make sure that you put it on top of the tray. We're gonna cook this 15 to 18 minutes. Ooh, looks like it's ready, so we're gonna pull it out of the oven. Look at that. Looks good. Looks awesome. Now that we let it cool, we're going to cut into it. Oh, looks good. Nice job, my love. Now we're just going to add the final touch, some powdered sugar. 
What can we eat it? So now we need to get up and put it on the plate. That's really good. So good. Mm. You can't even tell there's black beans in it. You really can't. Thank you guys for joining us. This has been another episode of Cooking with the Kellys. This month of February, get out there and take care of your heart. Get plenty of exercise. Find cool substitutes like these black bean brownies. And just uh, really just focus on your heart. Mm -hmm. And happy Valentine's Day. And happy Valentine's Day. Mm. Can you stop eating with the toots? I said that. <laughs> You're the one who put beans in the brownies. <laughs> what are some great ways that people can get some cardio in during Valentine's Day? We don't want to talk about that. No. <laughs> I was thinking about a little rhyme. Beans, beans, they're good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you fart. The more you fart, the better you feel. Let's have black bean brownies for every meal. <laughs> Just now came to me. Oh, I like it. I made it up. One hundred percent original. You're driving me nuts. Huh? That's not how you're. Ah. What am I doing wrong? You're just getting it all over the edges. Give us. What's a wrong with the edges? Now it's because that's gonna burn. Okay. Wait. Maybe we should tell them that. Though people know that. Oh, people know that. Lord, give me strength. Give me strength. Delicious. So now we need to get up and put it on the plate. Alright, I can do that. Do you have any strategy to it? I like to just start in the middle and work my way out. No. No? Do not do that. That is so good. That is really, really good. I love these brownies. <laughs> These brownies are delicious. <laughs> we just want to remind you guys, take care of your heart, okay? Because it's really important. <laughs> that was yeah. my teeth? No. No, you got something in it. Is that in my teeth? Did I get it? No, a little lower. Did I get nope, it? Nope, right here. Right Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Oh. This has been another episode of Cooking with the Kellys. We'll see you next time.